Oh, oh, I should do this. This, this small kind of tight. It's kind of tight. <laughs> lifestyle lovers happy monday so today is monday it is the first day of the weekly vlog and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it's all about creating a good lifestyle i just woke up probably about well i've been up i've been up since probably about five o'clock but um i just got out of bed washed my face brushed my teeth got myself together um so i'm in a good mood today i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm feeling really good today really positive today so i'm waiting on my daughter to call me she should be calling me momentarily to take the kids to camp this is their last day of camp so tomorrow school starts for duval county and um so yeah, her car is at the dealership and once the kids get ready, I'm gonna pick them up and take them to camp. I have not had my morning coffee today and I'm still feeling good. So you know it's a good day. But um, I wanna be able to enjoy my cup of coffee. So I'm gonna wait until I take drop the kids off. I just wanna go ahead and start with my daily devotion with you guys. Today is Monday, it is August the 9th. The daily devotion is called Glorious, and the scripture for today is on the glorious splendor of your majesty and your wondrous works, I will meditate. So it says, leaves changing from green to orange to red, gently falling snow, a rainbow colored sunrise, a sprout of newness in the dirt, the smell of freshly cut grass. The rustling of leaves in the trees, the smell of a pine tree at Christmas time, billowy moving clouds, sunshine kissing your cheek. It is amazing that our Creator would make all of this for us to enjoy. It's glorious, really. Take some time today to slow down. Take a walk outside and soak in His presence, and that's all around you in the grass between your toes, in the rustle of the leaves above you, and in the sunshine kissing your cheeks. The prayer for today is, Lord Jesus, give me an opportunity today to see your glory in your creation. Help me to stop in amazement at the beauty you have put into the world. So we are nearing the end of summer. We are going into fall. Um, the kids are starting back school. It's time for me and my household to get on a more structured schedule. Um, me, my son. So I have a few last minute things that I need to do in preparation for back to school. So I'll probably do that. I'll take you guys along with me. And once I take, take my grandsons to camp, I'm going to come back. I need to do some budgeting. I've been out of my budget, lifestyle lovers. Typically, I try to do $300 a week. Um, that's my budget for, you know, store runs, household items, gas, lunch. I haven't been buying coffee. I've been using my Nespresso. But, you know, if I want coffee, whatever the case may be. And I haven't been able to stay in that budget within months. Well, since it's back to school, of course... You know, I, I won't be able to stay in it because I have a lot of extra costs that I wouldn't typically have. But, so yeah. So that's what we're doing today and we'll see what else this week brings. But, let's get this party started. Women that's down for it. Eh, you're not doing nothing wrong. You need some help. Hey, Daddy. 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 Hey,
<laughs> Baby, don't you dare. You want you want to spank it early this morning? You ready to get spanked early this morning? Huh? You better get your behind toe up early. Get kid. Kick it. Mm -hmm. Kick it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hey, Mila. Hey, baby. Good morning. Good morning. You ready for camp? All right. I want to go to school today. Okay, get on in. And then, I'm going to go to my school. Okay, get in and put your seatbelt on. Okay. Oh, my. You got your crack soon, boy? Uh, you better stop it. You better, uh-uh, you about to get it. tried my very very best to get out of the store without getting anything else but unfortunately that was a fail it was so so crowded it's just it's crowded <laughs> it's crowded with it with the whole back to school rush but um i didn't get everything i need but whatever i don't have i'll get it this week we're actually gonna go out again me and mookie because we have to go to the shoe store but I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Express and Sephora. So I do have all of his uniforms. I had to go to the uniform store because I brought his uniforms last week and they forgot to put two shirts in the bag. And the line was wrapped around the store. But luckily, <clears throat> luckily I was able to pull one of the associates to the side. I was like, babe, I can't get in this line. But, you know, you guys forgot to put two shirts in the bag. She took them off the hanger, put them in the bag, and I was back out the door. So, that worked out perfectly. But, um, okay, lifestyle lovers. So, this is what I picked up from Express. I have a black bodysuit. It's the Body Contour Collection. And I have it in black. And I also have it in white because it was buy one get one 50 percent off both of the sizes are small and i also brought two of these shirts it's like a long sleeve kind of like a silky type shirt i'm gonna try it on for you guys so i got one in black i mean i got one in white and then i have one in black now these can be worn to work they can be worn casually but i'm going to try it on just to show you guys how i would wear it in a casual type way and i picked up some of the fenty skin products the exfoliating body scrub i've never tried this before so i wanted to try it and i also picked up 
the Fenty Skin Butter Drop, which is a body cream, and also the Fenty Skin Instant Reset. This is an overnight gel cream that you put on your face. So it says it is, it says, um, revives the skin overnight for a refreshed glow by day, hydrates and reduces the look of pores while minimizing the look of dark spots over time. I'm going to try these shirts on because I want you guys to get a, a look at, uh, how I plan to style them. As I stated, I can also use those for work as well, but I'm gonna try them on. I'm gonna try one of them on with the bodysuit so you guys can kind of get a look as to how I plan to wear it in a casual, casual setting. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so just ignore the bra because I have on the wrong kind of bra, but I didn't feel like changing or anything. Oh, oh. I should do this, this, this small kind of tight. It's kind of tight. So, ooh, I didn't try it on, but I probably should have gotten a medium. Oh, but this is how I was planning. Yeah, I, probably, I, sh I need a medium. Yeah, I need a medium. Oh, yeah. I could probably. I may even need a large. Okay, this is a fail. <laughs> I can't show you guys how I was planning to wear it because I need a bigger size. My arms are big, but since it was like a, since it was like a, um, yeah, this, this is, oh no. Yeah, this is a fail. This 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 not giving what I expected it to give. Yeah. But this is how it looks. But I, I need like a medium or maybe even a large. So to be continued. Good morning, Lifestyle Lovers. Happy Tuesday. So today is Tuesday. It is the second day of the weekly vlog and it is the first day of school here in Jacksonville. Uh, my son is starting the seventh grade this year. So depending on how long you guys have been around, you, st you, you saw him start the sixth grade last year. But we had a pretty rough year last year, um, academically and discipline wise. So I'm switching things up this year. I am um, sending him to private school where the classrooms are a little smaller and God is incorporated into the daily routine. I think, um, you know, he's going through growing pains. He will be 13 in a few months. So, you know, he's going through the transition of becoming a young man and um i just think we got to put in a little bit a little bit more extra work so just pr say a prayer for him but right now i'm going through all of his school supplies he's upstairs getting ready for school school starts at eight o'clock so it's probably about 7 30. i'm gonna make sure he eats some breakfast and this is pretty much everything we have well that was on the list. Some stuff is still from Amazon. So we have some disinfectant wipes, can of Lysol, antibacterial soap. He actually had to have eight 
composition books. I ended up getting two from Walmart um, on Saturday, but I had to go back in Dollar Tree and I just grabbed eight. We got colored pencils, crayons, scissors, index cards, glue sticks. And then over here we have tissue, two boxes of tissue. He has to have a mesh book bag, so I've already packed that. I've already packed his lunch box over there. <laughs> to school for his first day of seventh grade so hopefully um everything works out today and for the remaining of the year for him and the rest of our babies that are um returning to school in this pandemic so i'm back home i'm gonna fix my coffee um i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna get back into bed i'm on vacation guys so i took a few days off in preparation for back to school so I'm on vacation. I was on vacation today, yesterday, and I'm on vacation today. And I return to work tomorrow. But I bought a um, new piece of home decor for the bookcase. I want to go ahead and share that with you guys. Let me turn this light on. Turn this light on. So I ordered this vase from West Am. So this is where I have placed it on the bookshelf. It's probably about, I think it's probably about 16 inches. So I was sure to make sure I measured this space before I ordered it. But it comes in a variety of sizes. Um, so if you are interested, I will link it in the description box. I believe it was around $80 for, for this size. But it comes like in short size. And this vase is from Z Gallery. So I had some greenery in this vase. I just removed the greenery because I think it gave like more of a cleaner look. And I just placed the vase right next to that smaller vase. I just felt like I needed to add some black on the bookshelf. So... And I ordered another piece from Uttermost that'll be here. It might be here today. So this is the other side of the bookshelf. I want to replace that too. I want to kind of get rid of that. But I'm going to take my time and make sure that I'm very intentional about the pieces that I placed on the bookcase. So I ordered another piece from Uttermost, which will be here this week. So I'll share that with you guys, you know, whenever it gets here. But I just want to have a little bit of high end, low end, and, um, you know, make sure it doesn't look too crowded or whatever. So, now that my son is off to school, I'm going to fix my coffee, and we'll just see what today brings. Stop now, y'all doing all of that while I'm trying to drive. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So, it's just picking the kids up from school. We're picking... My grandson Messiah and Mookie up. Uh, so how was y'all day? My day? My day was good. Your day was good? Tell me about it. What was good about it? Well, they had three periods because one of my teachers out because it was their birthday today. And yeah, it's just a regular school day. Okay. What about you, Messiah? How was your day? It was good. Why was it good? Because you got in trouble. Yeah, you got in trouble. Mookie, get him off of your lap. Y'all can't drive like that. Why was your day good, Messiah? Huh? You don't want to talk about it? What you going to talk about? Being wrong, probably. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So, we're headed home. It's a real, real hot day. The first day of school was a success have to pick King up a little bit later because Neri is studying for a final exam that she has tomorrow. So, yeah, I pretty much stayed home today and did some social media stuff. 
I think I'm gonna start getting a little bit visible on some other platforms. So I keep you guys posted on that. And yeah, it's, I'm hot. It's hot out here and I'm tired. So we're gonna go home, chill, and Good first day of school for the boys. Now look who I got with me. Say hey. Tell the lifestyle lovers hey. Look at his little crocs, y'all. Don't be trying to grab my phone. You gonna fall. Come on, walk to the door. Come on, walk to the door. Look at his little crocs. You got some baby crocs. Trying to grab this phone. Come on, now you scared to walk. You scared? <laughs> come on, don't fall. Don't fall, Daddy. Come on. Come on, Daddy. Don't fall, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I'm just getting back home. I have all of my boys, grandsons, and Mookie. So, you got these. Yeah, my grandsons. See, hike. Get out my face. <laughs> well, okay, lifestyle. Huh? Can you see my haircut? It ain't no real haircut. <laughs> his daddy cut his hair. <laughs> Won't pay for no haircut, right here. Oh, shut up. You better want to pay for one. Put him down, Messiah. Put him down. You can't carry him like that. Okay, lifestyle lover. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I did not end up taking the shirts back to Express. They're sitting right there. Um, so I'll probably end up taking those back sometime this week. I do have a pickup order from Dillard. So I'm just going to wait until my pickup order is ready so I can just kill two birds with one stone. But once I take the shirts back, then I'm going to probably come back with the look for you guys. But that's pretty much it for this weekly vlog, Lifestyle Lovers. Hey, Mama, eat one. Give him one. Mookie, why would you not give him one? You going to sit and eat in his face? I didn't even eat yet. Okay, well, give him one. Um, only thing left on the agenda this week is work. I return to work tomorrow. So, um, if anything comes up, of course, I'll fill you guys in. But that's pretty much it for this vlog. I hope you have a great week or a great weekend. You can't eat in here. You better go in the kitchen and eat. You can't eat in my living room. Mm -hmm. Talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye.